Uh, my name is Dan Peck. Uh, I'm number 17 on the ballot. Uh, and again, to, to me, the, the city council is about a team of people working together uh, to, to listen to all to all voices, concerns. Uh, and you know, I don't always know all the answers to everything, but um, I'm an honest guy, and you know, I, I try my best to represent everyone in, in the community. And uh, again, it's really a, a team of people working together to offer different options, ideas, solutions. Uh, and if given an opportunity, I know I can be a, a good addition to the city council team. Uh, I, I respectfully ask for uh, one one of your nine votes this November 8th. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Patrick Murphy. Thank you. I am uh, Patrick Murphy. In my first term on council. And, and over the last few years, I, I think I've um, really offered a, a positive vision of how we might strengthen our local economy, ecology, and community uh, in, in developing uh, the Wall Stat Initiative, uh, which has saved uh, nearly a, a million and a half dollars, um, working to uh, make sure that Lowell became a green community, which has brought uh, several uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars into the city to invest in our capital in infrastructure. Um, making sure that our economic development efforts are really balanced so that we have investment in our neighborhood business districts. In, in developing a uh, master plan, which would really lay out uh, a vision for the next several years. So I would appreciate uh, your support in continuing that work over the next two years. Thank you. Thank you. Jim Nolan Thank you, uh, Jim Nolan Azzo, a member of Six in the Valley. I'm running for my fifth term on the Lowell City Council. And as I mentioned, I've had the honor to be the mayor for the last two years. I think my uh, experience uh, in, in that I work both on the public side and the private side uh, brings a lot of uh, discussion uh, to the city council. Um, I'm proud of my uh, my record on the city council. I chair the economic development subcommittee, I've been on the zoning subcommittee, I've been on the housing subcommittee, and I do work hard. Um, as, as mayor, I try to be at uh, most events in the city throughout the neighborhood, and I'm very proud of the work that we've done not only in the city council over the last few years, but on the school committee as well. I serve as uh, president of the Lowell Development and Financial Corporation. I'm on the board of the Lowell Plan, so the public-private partnership has certainly contributed greatly to the success uh, that the city has had over the last uh, uh, decade or so. I, I've said it on the campaign trail. I really believe that the uh, progress that Lowell has made, we are the envy of every other community in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Uh, General Azzo, number six in the ballot. Thank, thank you. you very much. Rita Mercier. Oh, thank you. Bert. <clears throat> Hello. Okay. <laughs> thank you very much. I want to thank the sponsors again, and not to forget City Life and the Sun newspaper. Thank you very much, and our panel over here, and also our students. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I'm running for re-election to the Lowell City Council to build on the progress that was structured and will continue to grow. Um, the Hamilton Canal project is ongoing. Uh, constituent services might remain top of my list. I work for you, and I know that. Um, when you have a concern, I hear you. When you ask for me, I'm there. On November 8th, please uh, respectfully asking for your support by giving me one of your nine votes on number five on the ballot, and I truly appreciate being here this evening. Two minutes is not a long time, but thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was one minute, Rita. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. My name is Armin Mercer. I'm a lifelong resident of the city of Lowell, and I have a passion for public service as demonstrated by my past. As a former mayor, I enjoyed being a former mayor. I enjoyed being mayor at the time, and I enjoyed being a city councilor. I would like an opportunity to get back to the city council and bring whatever expertise I have to, the, to help the city of Lowell be a better city. I have a passion in, in really, really interested in the payment of Lowell taxes. It, would, it could take so many different forms. You could have a payment rule of taxes, to, let's say, for the university where it's designated for the schools or it's designated for the taxpayers. I'm really passionate about that, and I'd like the opportunity to pursue that further as a city councilor. Again, I'm in Mercer, November 8th, on the 15th on the ballot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Joe Mendonca. Hi, I'm Joe Mendonca. In addition to doing the budget work that I've learned quite a bit about, I want to make sure we continue to work on our infrastructure. Uh, there have been many improvements, both, I mean, we see some on Central Street, the SOAR overflow project that improved many of our other streets, 
along with waterworks projects. And uh, uh, it's something like the Central Street project, I was pleased that we were able to do with additional state funding and some of the other projects. We also have funded the capital plant for the first time, which should greatly improve our snow removal this winter. But we are able to do it without burdening the taxpayer because we were retiring debt and this new debt just replaced the old debt. So it wasn't extra spending in the long run. I also want to support our neighborhoods. We need to protect their character. Uh, and in doing that, I've supported efforts to add the uh, notification of abutters whenever new projects or zoning changes occur in areas that where notification was not required before. Having been a neighborhood leader in the past, I know how important that is. Uh, I am Joe Mendonca. I'm number four on the ballot, and I need your support. One of your nine votes on November 8th. Thank you Thank very you. much. And last, Bill Martin. Thank you. I'm Bill Martin, running for re-election, seeking my seventh term on the council. When I started this evening, I quoted from a Department of Revenue letter congratulating role on fiscal successes. What have, what have some of those been? Uh, we implemented a foreclosure ordinance uh, this past term under the leadership of the mayor, imposing a series of fines for national banks that refused to cooperate and comply with our local ordinances. That brought in over a half a million dollars in fine revenue to the city. We negotiated with each city side union uh, to implement changes to our health insurance that resulted in a million dollars in savings to the taxpayers as well as premium savings to those city workers. We charged the city manager uh, to go forward and negotiate not only with those same unions but also the school department unions to achieve even greatest uh, savings hopefully in the coming year. We put, uh, supported housing programs, the Tupelo housing program that I proposed when I was first elected has had great success. Uh, less than a, a 2% foreclosure rate. We funded over a, uh, a thousand first time home buyer programs with city money. Very Those nice. are the types of things I want to continue as a 